Hi, it's Arian with Peak Academics, and today I'm going to teach you a really great strategy to increase flexibility in your life. Have you ever encountered a challenge, a setback, an obstacle, or maybe a change or new information and not known what to do or how to revise your plan? Well, today I'm going to give you a strategy to increase flexibility in your brain. Today's work is going to require you to use a lot of mental brain power to identify, pause, and plan when you encounter situations where you might have big or little feelings arise. I'm going to show you some examples of situations where you might need to increase your flexibility and then teach you how to increase your flexibility as well as reward yourself when challenges do arise where you encounter a moment to be flexible. So let's review some situations that may have happened to you where you might have immediately acted or felt and not known what to do. I encourage you to pause this video during the example situations and think about how you acted, reacted, or how you felt and then at the end of this video, I want you to rewatch the examples and think about how you could fix that problem or that scenario now having the identify, pause, and plan strategy in your toolkit. Some examples that might have happened to you are spilling a snack or a drink breaking or severely injuring a body part like a leg or an arm, having a sibling or a friend ruin something you've been working really hard on, getting a ball stuck in a tree, losing or missing a beloved pet. Now thinking about those examples, I need to identify if they were a big deal or a little deal. A situation that's a big deal elicits upsetting feelings. It's something that can't be changed and big feelings come out of that situation. So think about the examples I showed you and try to identify which ones were big deals. I identified the breaking the leg and the losing of the pet as big deals. They can't be changed. Big feelings come out of those events. And I'm very upset if those things happen. Now it's important to recognize that some things are little deals. They're day-to-day -day annoyances. They're not ideal or perfect in our life and little feelings although still feelings come out of those situations. And it's important that we can identify little deals. So think back to the examples I gave you or things that happen in your day-to-day -day life. What was annoying? What was not ideal or inconvenienced me? And little feelings might come out of those situations. Your feelings matter, whether they're big deals or little deals. But some of the little deals that I gave in my examples were getting a ball stuck in a tree or tipping over a snack or a drink. And it's really not ideal to have something that you worked hard on knocked over or ruined by a friend or a sibling. So now that you've identified big deals and little deals, let's work on pausing before we plan how to be flexible with those situations. I call this a calm moment and I'm gonna give you some strategies to pause before you plan. The first thing I like to do is just take a few deep breaths. It might help to put your hand on your chest or your hand on your belly while you're breathing. Another way to take a deep breath is a mountain breath. Inhale as you go up one side of the hand, exhale as you go down, and then repeat. 
And another way to pause before you plan is to count to 10. And sometimes it might even help to have your fingers out, out while you're counting to kind of force you to pause in that calm moment so that you're not reacting, but you're planning to be flexible. Now that you've identified the big deal or the little deal, you've taken a calm moment and you've paused, here's the practice and flexibility. Plan how you're going to react to the situation. How can you fix it? How can you solve the problem? Is it something you need to clean up? Or do you need to ask for help? Once you become familiar with the identify, pause, plan strategy, you may want to start a go with the flow jar in your own home. The go with the flow jar is simply a jar or a vase, a whiteboard marker, and I use those colored pom-pom balls, but you could use cotton balls, marbles, beads, buttons, whatever you have laying around. You'll want to mark a line on your jar that you want to start at. And every time you have shown flexibility with a situation, you reward yourself by tossing in that item. Now in this video, I'm tossing in the pom-pom. Every time I've encountered a situation and instead of reacting, I've identified if it's a big deal, little deal, I've paused for a calm moment and I've planned my flexibility of how to work through that situation I'm giving myself a reward. Once I meet that line that I've indicated, then maybe I go out for ice cream with my family, or we have a special movie night, or I get to stay up a little bit later, or some extra screen time to reward my flexibility. I hope the next time you encounter a situation where you face an obstacle or a challenge or some new information, that you now have the strategy of identify, pause, and plan to increase your flexibility when encountering that challenge.